Still sitting here with George Wood. I, I must just point out if you just uh, if you tuned in about seven or eight minutes ago and you were <laughs> you were wondering what was going on, uh, we were playing a clip from one of uh, one of your shows. Um, yeah. Now, if people wanted to book you and to follow you, not not mm -hmm. literally follow you about the streets, but <laughs> if, if they wanted to find out more about you, how how would they do yeah. that? Well, I've got my Facebook page is probably the best page um, when I post it. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash George Wood Hypnosis. Um, I've got the YouTube, which mm -hmm. is George Wood Hypnosis again. I'm on Twitter, but I still can't really figure the, the thing out yet. Uh, I'm not a Twitter man, but I'm, I'm trying to. I'll uh, show you how to link your Facebook to your Twitter, and then you don't have to worry about Twitter. Oh, right. Can you do that? Yeah, right, easy. Right. Right. I, can, I can hypnotize people. But maybe, maybe I'll get one of the volunteers to, to, to show me how to do it then. <laughs> there's, there, there's a point. How, how many times, you know, just naturally when you're talking to people and say, what do you do? And you say, mm -hmm. I'm a hypnotist. Mm -hmm. You know, is it... 90%, 100% of the time that people say, oh, can you hypnotise me? Can you can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, I, I, they do ask quite a lot, and uh, it's I'm quite willing to you know, have a wee laugh with people, um, especially in nights out and things like that, because yeah. I really, really, really enjoy it. So it doesn't get boring to me. Um, you, I would have thought it would have, but it doesn't, because eh, every single person's always different, because I put them that deep that it's, uh, it's what's called permanosis. So see, by the end of the show, I don't even need to tell them sleep. I just tell them what to do, and... They, they sort of just, they, they create the situation themselves even. So uh, I, I enjoy seeing every show, you know, when I, when I used to see the new faces, I enjoy seeing, yeah. you know, what are they going to do this time? How is it going to be? And it's surprising because it started, see, for the first show, there's still people coming, you know, that have been to like 12 shows and they're saying, oh, you're getting even better. I'm enjoying this even more. And then they've maybe volunteered and then yeah. they come back and it's like... It's good because I'm starting to almost know all the fans on a first name basis. Because uh -huh. uh, I, I, I don't, you know, like to sit away and put myself on a pedestal. I like to talk to everybody, meet them, make sure everybody's had a good time, and get feedback as well because that's important. Um, now, you, you've grown the show. You, you've grown the show from mm -hmm. from just doing the house parties and stuff right. into into a theatre style show. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the Regal Theatre in Bathgate. You've done your shows there, uh, and place. we're touching on uh, that you, you're going to be part of the entertainment program at the New Instant Arena, which uh, for, yeah, yeah. for those listening is the old Odeon uh, building, which just opened last Friday. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you'll be quite looking forward to uh, the 600 seater auditorium. Quite, and quite. Oh, yeah. that doesn't do it. I'm, I'm absolutely. <laughs> I'm like a wee kid at Christmas about it, eh? uh, yeah. and that's good because uh, every time I'm, I'm wanting it to go bigger as yeah. well. Uh, I'm ready for it as well. Um, you know, with the sound guys doing good, got the cameraman, got the, you know, the the, the video. Uh, it's, I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting on you guys to finish the the building works, and uh, <laughs> you know, give me a call. <laughs> yep, we just need the audience. That's what we need. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yep, yep. But you know, it, it's it's growing. The show is growing. That's what yeah. I'm saying, and uh, mm -hmm. I've, I have absolutely no doubt that. You know, once the BBC thing goes out, and mm. uh, you know, after after this show, of course, the phone's going to be going daft. But hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm actually—I no. was going to say—I'm trying to break into Edinburgh as well. Um, so if there is anyone, I don't know, maybe you know, that has a venue, that's um, as long as they've got a stage that I can work from, um, I'd like to hear from them. Yeah, uh, maybe they could call you in and uh, or, or connect with me on Facebook. Uh, so, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a few gigs, you know, in Edinburgh. I'm, I, I really so, all promoters this. and venues who are, who are looking yep. to do something, oh, something to <laughs> totally different. Yeah, well, it is, and the other thing is, it's, uh, it's not dirty either. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's, it's unique, uh, and everybody is unique in themselves. So, the show will always be different, even if I was to do the same sketches. But I do change them anyway. Uh, so it's always a different show, always different people. And it's it's great fun. Now, I'm I'm just one one final sort of uh, but to talk about your show. Uh, you do get people doing things that they probably you've mentioned this earlier that they mm -hmm. probably would never have thought. Uh, such as you usually do a dance off, and you get people to do <laughs> these dance moves. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, there's there's actually uh, there's a YouTube video of that. Um, I had a 53 year old butcher uh, that came up here eh, and. Uh, First of all, it was a fluke because I'd, I'd said to him, uh, uh, "Just uh, it's, he's, he's a butcher in Hart Hill. Eh? Uh, that's that's where I was I was staying at the time, so I knew he was the butcher. But uh, I'd said to him, "Anytime I shake your hand, you get quite upset." Eh? So I said to him, "You know how long you've been a butcher?" He's like, "Oh, 32 years." And I was like, "So what about the lambs, Norman?" And he started going, "Oh, you know, I can't, oh, I can't, oh, the lambs." And he started crying, you know. And then we went, but then eh, I picked him for the dance off, and there was another. Uh, it was a lady who worked in Sky. 
Uh, she was a bit younger. Oh, she was a great dancer too, but he was doing, you know, somersaults and backflips on the I stage. I actually watched that last night. And it's like, <laughs> I was gobsmacked at it because they were so, you know, fighting for this invisible prize of the million dollar, uh, <laughs> you know, bucket of cash at the, uh, the invisible thing at the back of the stage. But, oh, it was brilliant. Um, the BBC were actually recording that and the cameraman said to me, he showed me the footage, um, they're going, they had to edit it because the camera was shaking so much and he says normally he can disconnect for it, yep. but he just couldn't. And they'd been at the Fringe uh, that, that night eh, um, before they came over and they said, why are you not at the Fringe? Eh? So uh, I'd, I'd love to give that a shot, especially yep. if the BBC's saying do the Fringe. Yeah. I've got to do it. I've got to, you know, uh, obviously push it higher. So Definitely, uh, we should be finding your venue for that. Yeah, big time. Uh, so... Yeah. I'm looking here for I people. Mean, I, I, I thought I actually thought that uh, going back to that video, uh, the guy was doing swallow dives and he was Aye. doing all these break dancing moves. And uh, see, that's that's see when he goes on a night out though, and he sits there with his wee pint and he doesn't do anything. That's what his head's really thinking. He's like, oh, you know, I could shame all these people in the dance floor. You know, Ooh, you know, uh, it was uh, what was the it was a Commodore's. Uh, what's, it, what's that? Don't leave me this way. Is it the is it the communards? Communards. Sorry, that's it. It was that song. The minute that hit. It was like, yeah, and he's doing the backflips and stuff. Eh? So I, I, I was actually, I nearly lost it myself laughing eh? in the audience. They were rolling off the seats. Eh? So it was a star, though. It was a great, it's great, you know, that people come up and share, share their mind with the audience because eh? that's what you're really doing. Um, and it's the next day, you know, uh, it, you always get a wee bit of amnesia sometimes um, because they go so deep. So the next day, uh, you know, he, phone, he, he phones me because I gave him my number and he says, you know, he says, I really enjoyed coming to the show, George. You know, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, thanks for having me along. He says, but I didn't understand. Why did you have me just sitting on the, the, the seat the whole time? And I'm thinking, oh, you man, you have no idea. I was like, you are the star, Norman. <laughs> and he's like, what? I did what? And I was showing him the footage and I was talking to him, you know. And uh, he remembered, it took him about, uh, you know, it was by the, the end of the first day. And it's yep. just because you're so deep and uh -huh. in a trance state that you're so focused. It's almost like enlightenment. Um, but he's got a strange uh, definition of if you watch him in but enlightenment <laughs> is uh, the dancing Buddha or something like that <laughs> well, it's well, great fun you've enlightened me and you've enlightened <laughs> the, uh, the the listeners across Midlothian and South Edinburgh um, into hypnosis because it's uh, it, it's a, a mind-boggling world you know yeah, it is, isn't it? I it's suppose and it's, I think probably everybody is fascinated in, in how it works and I know you'll not give away the secrets as uh, how it, how it happens and stuff but uh, George, can I just say thank you very much for uh, taking the time to come in today? Yeah, well, thanks very much uh, for having and, me along, Mark. It's and spreading spreading the good word about George George Wood Hypnosis. Uh, again, if people want to follow George, uh, go on to Facebook, uh, George Wood Hypnosis, mm -hmm. uh, or go on to YouTube, uh, George Wood Hypnosis as well, and uh, and just see see what you do, and then and then give you a call and book you. Yeah, well, the other thing is I'm, I've got some gigs in in the works now, so uh -huh. that's the page that I use to post, um, you know, about any gigs, any ticket links, things like that. So um, if they if they like the page, uh, follow me. Um, they'll, they'll get the information that way. Um, but they can also have a wee laugh at the YouTube. There's about 33 videos there now. Eh? So yep. you could probably just sit down one night with a few cans of beer in your house and just watch the whole lot of them and, uh, you know, that okay, <laughs> give you a good laugh and then come to the show, give, give you a good idea. Eh? Have you got cameras as well? Because that was basically how my research went last night. Uh, cameras? Yeah. Is that what, oh, is yeah, that what you, you were doing? Uh, yeah, if you have the camera yeah, in my yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've Phew. seen inside your mind, Mark. Oh, yeah. See, that, that worries me. I did, po I did post oh, on on. Facebook last night I was going to wear dark glasses just yeah, in case. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've, I can see right through them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, thank you very much once again, George Wood. Thanks, Mark. I thought we'd play this one. It's quite appropriate. Oh, 